Hello lovelies, it's G here from Go To Bed Tarot. How are you doing? I'm here to bring you another channel message. I hope this message is finding you blessed and full of abundance today, okay? So, we have a new deck in here that I made. So, let's go ahead and pull on what Spirit wants to talk about today. When I was, when I was very first... Uh, Shuffling the cards, um, the King of Cups came out as well as the Justice card. So somebody feels like they want to tell you how they feel, but they feel like they can't. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know in what capacity that is, but somebody has a certain way that they feel, but they feel like they can't um, tell you. So we'll see if that comes back up so the ten of cups i feel complete satisfaction okay and i heard somebody say i am so happy with the way this this worked out okay and um the strength card the number eight perseverance and endurance hmm. so you persevered through something and now you're getting complete satisfaction you're getting a return on your investment look there's that king of cups and the queen of cups keeps showing itself too we'll see uh seven of pinnacles i am waiting to see the outcome exactly right you have been investing in something and now you are seeing the fruits of your labor right with the seven of pinnacles here oh yes yeah, six of wands I am victorious. Oh, but there's a four of cups here. I am blind to my blessings. So there's some blessing here that you're not seeing. What is this blessing that, that the collective is blind to? Three of wands, an opportunity to explore, an opportunity to, uh, uh, to see something that you haven't seen yet. Three, I am celebrating with others. So the three of cups... As well as the moon card, mystery and illusion. There is a, oh well, yeah, you're blind to it. It's, it's an illusion. It's something that you possibly might be confused or you're, I'm weighing it out. Like you're weighing out options or you're weighing out with the six of pentacles there. What's really going to be happening? What's on the back of the deck? The judgment card, reawakening or the call. Hmm. I'll show that guys. Hmm. You've gotten the manifestation. Something is showing up and it's a manifestation. It's a blessing. It's the answer to something that you've been asking for. But you're not seeing it. You're not seeing it that way because you keep waiting for more. You could be waiting for... Um, other people to celebrate or other people to be happy for you and it's kind of like an, a mystery or an illusion for you something is being illuminated here to you right yeah the call again with that judgment card here you might be being asked to make judgments on who who you can share this kind of uh complete ten of cups satisfaction here you're victorious it's like who deserves to be there celebrating with you. Okay. Somebody here, I don't feel like this doesn't feel like your energy. Eight of um eight of swords and the ace of swords. Okay. I am trapped in my mind and I take action. Somebody has a certain outcome or a certain something that's just like playing over and over and over and over again. The nine of swords, I feel weighed down by my thoughts and oh look. And the Hermit card, Reflection. Nine, nine. Yeah, lots of changes happening here. The possibility for a brand new cycle coming to an end, wrapping up things, right? You could be like thinking like, what is going to... I like yes, look, manifestation, like I said it, manifestation, queen of pentacles, I am abundant, right? 
Six of Cups, I want to be with you. What is this? Luck or Destiny, that's the Will of Fortune. It feels like Destiny, like something destined is coming towards you, Collective. Ooh, Nine of Pentacles, 999. I'm single and I'm loving it. Yeah, there's a lot of beauty, a lot of beauty, a lot of abundance, a lot of satisfaction, victory, something that you've been really waiting for, something that you've been really having to like really put a lot of work into and waiting to see the outcome of. You're finally going to see the outcome of it and you're going to feel victorious about it. But you're going, why are you going to be weighed down here by your thoughts reflecting? Maybe perhaps you're kind of still struggling on the do I deserve it? Oh, look at this. The two of wands. I see beyond. The emperor. Somebody here is too worried about the future. Somebody here is worried about reflecting on the future. And it's weighing down their thoughts. Got to be honest, some of you could be watching too, uh, too, many, too much terror or too many terror readings. Okay, <laughs> I say that as I'm giving you a tarot reading, but like you could be watching a little too much tarot and it's kind of like psyching you out or something. <sighs> Paige, I think I like you. The Page of Cups. I think you're looking forward. You're making, um, hmm. there's also with this emperor card here. Okay. With this father control card. Okay. Uh, there's also a masculine here. That's wondering whether or not that they will handle a certain situation better than their father did. Okay. Spirit saying yes. <laughs> Just the fact, just the fact that you're wondering about it, that you're questioning it, that you're trying, you know, that's going to be enough to make you really like try to be different. Okay. Three of Pentacles. I want to work with you. Yeah. There's somebody here that's, uh, that's an admirer of you and they want to work with you. They want to put something together with you. What is this that this person is admiring you? Four of Pentacles. I'm holding on. I wanted to say I'm holding back. I got what I asked for with this nine of cups here. Wish fulfillment. I got what I asked for. I feel like, I feel like in you, this person, yes, look, in you, I am blessed, Ace of Cups, this person feels like they're being blessed by you, or by guidance from you, or by being around you, But how do you feel about this person, though? How does the collective feel about this person? Eight of Cups, I'm walking away. Somebody that you walked away from? What was this? I'm in a partnership. You could already be in a partnership with somebody else. Um, or you could have been in a partnership in the past with this person. But you Eight of Cups, this person. Uh, Knight of Swords, I took quick action for Four of Swords. I, uh, I am resting in order to heal. Like, yeah, you backed away. You backed away off, off of this person to, in, in order to give yourself the time and the energy that you needed to, to heal or to focus on yourself. Okay. Okay. Take action. I feel like this person's going to take action. I give my love freely. Queen of Cups came out. So this person wants to show you how they really feel. 
I am in a partnership, two of cups and five of cups. I am lost in regret. This person really, really regrets a decision that they made from you. Um, hangman, and they feel like a, a suspension, atonement. They feel like they've been paying for the choices that they made in karma. I really feel like they're they're either already coming back towards you or this person is coming back towards you to try to to restart up another friendship, relationship, you know, to, to rekindle a relationship in some kind of way with you. Yeah, nine of uh, pentacles. Sorry, nine of pentacles. I'm learning from my... Or that's not nine of wands, not nine of pentacles. Nine of wands, I'm learning from my past. Nine of Pentacles is already out here. Yeah, just nine. There's like, uh, it's like the end of a cycle. It's just, it kind of also feels like you're going towards something else. And then like some things from your past are kind of trying to cycle back around. Balance. There's some kind of balance, some kind of karmic balance, some kind of karmic uh, justice is being brought here to you. Uh, six of cups I want to be with you this person wants to be in your good graces again I really feel like well you look you're like you're here like why wouldn't they you're in the ten of you're in the ten of cups you're in emotional satisfaction you're in strength you look like the you're the one that's been waiting for this situation and you knew victory would come maybe perhaps this person doubted it or tried to put fears or doubts inside of you right but you're like no I know what I'm doing I see beyond um, this situation here. I really feel like some of you intuitively know that this person is coming back towards you. Three. The Empress. Yeah, and I feel like you're here in this Emperor-Empress mode. Or Emperor-Empress energy. Balanced out. Exactly. Queen of Pentacles. I am abundant. And this abundant, beautiful energy here. Why wouldn't anyone want to come towards you? Look at that. I am in competition. Also fight. Yeah, I will fight. Five of Wands. I am in competition and I will fight. Like, there is something going on here with this person. Look, and I have to right there on that. I feel, I feel like this person either, either picked a fight with you or was fighting against you, trying to, you know, compare themselves to you or do something like that kind of energy, okay, in competition with you. But I really feel like Queen... Uh, queen of swords i have healthy boundaries okay you have some healthy boundaries in the in this situation and you're kind of just like mm, okay so, uh the the world card cycles completion travel yeah i really feel like a cycle is coming to a close here you're drawing out a close and i feel like some things that are just like loose ends it feels like loose ends tying themselves off Four, I am, uh, yeah, I am resting in order to heal the Four of Swords. Yeah. Five of Pentacles, I really feel like this person felt abandoned, feel like you, like you walked off, you left them. I mean, obviously you did walk away from them. So this person's feeling kind of abandoned or feeling kind of left behind. Seven of Wands, they feel like you're defensive or you're being defensive or you are being defensive and keeping your energy up to a, you know, to a certain level. Um, yeah, patience though. The temperance card, harmony, patience and harmony. Um, I have a long lasting legacy, 10 of pentacles. Yeah. I feel like you have been kind of tempered in this situation. Like it feels very much so like you're looking at it like very logically. It feels like, um, you are a little bit weighed down by your thoughts. Um, you are thinking about this situation, but I think it is one of many things that you are also balancing and thinking of that you're also, you know, paying attention to a lot of other things happening in your life right now, right? And it really, it kind of feels like you're kind of like, oh, okay. <laughs> and I feel like that's why that this person is seeing you kind of like this queen of swords energy. Yeah, and it's making this person think. It makes this person think, 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 think. I am trapped in my mind. Just think, 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 think. Think about it. Analyze it. Uh, there's also another energy here where we were talking about before with this I am blind I'm blind to my blessings here Ooh, excuse me 
manifestation. There's a lot of energy over here. Like, oh my gosh. There's so much major arcana energy over here with the with the judgment and the moon and the manifestation. And then the soulmate card here or the lover's card here. The union choice card here. The celebrating with others. I feel like this is somebody else's energy. There's somebody else here. Some of you are wondering about, about something else, waiting to hear from something or waiting to hear about a particular situation and you're manifesting an outcome. You might be seeing this person out on social media celebrating with others and you're like, what's going on in their life? I want to know. Or you might be posting things on social media, you know, and, this per and there is a person here that's like, well, what's going on with this person? Eight of Pentacles. I'm working on it. I really feel, yeah, this Eight of Pentacles flew out over here over this Nine this nine of Swords. Like, you're trying to figure it out, right? I feel weighed down by my thoughts. You're working on it. You're trying to figure it out. You're kind of like really hmm, mulling it over is what I get there. Mulling it over. Mulling over what to do, where to go. You're doing this. Yeah, but, but all around you, though, is... You're moving on from the past. You're single. You're independent. You're loving it. You're reflecting. You're you're patient. You're balanced. You know, you have the feminine and masculine energy here. Emperor and Empress energy. Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. You're looking freaking good, right? You're looking real fucking good, which is why I think this other person is coming back towards you because obviously... I blocked the truth. You might have blocked this person because obviously, like, you're you're looking good. Like, you're clearly, you're victorious, right, in this situation. If this person was putting you in competition with themselves, like, clearly, I have healthy boundaries. Clearly, you know. Not saying that this person hasn't, you know, gone on about their business and they're doing things. But, th that, but this person, you know, you clearly, you know. I don't know about this person, but you're looking good. Yeah, the sun. You're in enlightenment and triumph. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you're definitely in, you know, succeeding in whatever it is that you're doing. Congratulations, right? Or let the energy resonate for it. For it. You could be this page person, okay? You could be this page person looking at this emperor, empress person. Uh, and look who it is. It's the king of cups. I love you, but I can't show it. It's this King of Cups person that we talked about in the very beginning. That's who this person is. You just look so good. You just look so good. Yeah, but I think you're like seven of wands. Like, mm, 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 mm. Right, and it doesn't have to be a person that's coming back towards you because they want to be in like a romantic relationship with you, right? This could be a friendship. This could be an estranged family member that's coming back towards you. But I really, I, I don't feel like you're like, shut it down, get the hell out of my face. Um, but I do think you're kind of like weary, Re weary of exactly what this person's intentions are. Why is this uh, King of Cups energy here? Why is this person coming back towards the collective page of wands. I have good news. This person has good news to share with you. Well, that's good. What's this good news spirit? The death card. I've gone through a transformation or I've ended something. Oh, uh, oh. King of wands. I am a determined leader. Hierophant. I'm hearing I've built something new. I, I feel like this person is trying is this person is trying to come back towards you because they've made a transformation from the King of Cups to a King of Wands. Okay, look at a King of Pentacles. I am stable. Okay. And a King of Swords. Hold up. I stand strong in my truth. Oh. I know what I want, right? Oh, wait a minute. But the devil card came up, right? Impulse, desire, obsession. Desire is the, is the word that's really standing out to me the most. What is this? What is it that this person desires from, from the collective? Um, Page of Swords. I am bringing forth the truth 
Ten of Swords, I have been betrayed. Three of Swords, I am heartbroken. Knight of Swords, I want you. I got betrayed. I got betrayed. I got my heart broken. Now I want you. Somebody went through some shit. <laughs> Somebody went through some karma. That's what it sounds like. Somebody really went through some karma here. <laughs> queen, queen of Wands. I am an accomplished teacher. Yeah. This person went through some karma. And definitely uh, learned some lessons or so from a Queen of Wands, possibly. I have a business proposal. This person might have some kind of business proposal for you or want to go, want to get some kind of professional advice or something like that from you. I'm hearing a guys. They're coming under, um, they're coming for under the guise that they have like a business proposal. Night. I am clever with my words. Exactly. They're coming forward, leaving a past situation here using some clever words to kind of hide their true motives in this situation. This person wants you. They want you. They want to be with you. Or they want something from you. Five of Wands, I will fight. Fight for what? I'm hearing the competition. I'm hearing that My Girl song. Talking about my girl. Uh, five of Pentacles. This person feels abandoned. Mm. I'm weighing it out. So that's the Six of Pentacles and the Star card. This person wants healing. They want guidance. They have hope that there can be healing in this relationship or in this situation between the two of you. They're kind of like testing the waters coming forward. They feel like they are in like on the surface. They're in a very like stable place or materially. Um, physically, they're in a very stable place. They feel a lot stronger. They feel a lot more willing. It's like something has happened to this person now and now it's like they're like get off their ass. I can come in towards you. Yeah, look, knight, knight of swords. I take quick action. Yeah. And I, I don't know if this person just wants like uh, help from you to heal, to get some clarity in their situation that they went through in the past, or if they're coming towards you um, because they got their heart broken by somebody else. Now they're coming towards you. Eight of Wands, I'm seizing opportunities. Seven of Swords, I am sneaking around. King of Swords, I stand strong in my truth. This person's being very logical and taking an opportunity, but they're sneaking around. Why is this person sneaking around? King of Pentacles, oh, King of Pentacles can be a person that's already in a relationship with somebody else. And also the King of Swords, like the King and Queen of Swords can be a people that are in a relationship that's on the outs, right? Um, they're they're not feeling the love in this situation with this with another person or from another person anymore, right? The lovers, union, choice, yeah. This person's coming towards you because they see you as like a better option. Um, they got their heart broken in the past. I mean, I don't know how long ago this was, right? And you could not even know this person. This could be, you know, you, you could go on a date with somebody and they can tell you, oh, hey, you know. For some of you, you do know this person. For some of y'all, I don't think that you do know this person. That's a light, a much lighter feeling. If this is a new person coming towards you, you're just going to hear about this person dealing with some heartbreak in the background, you know, like since, but just make sure, you know, make sure of how long it's been, right? Take your time and make sure that this person is actually not looking, not looking for a rebound or not looking for you to help heal them. And they're trying to heal themselves. And, you know, they're not just coming towards you because you look like a really good opportunity and, and whoever else they chose over you this is a past person coming back towards you just kind of wasn't a good option or wasn't a who didn't turn out to be very good right hold on just one second you guys all 
I really feel like a lot of people in the collective, because my throat chakra is like going crazy. I really feel like people in the collective are having some kind of tense conversations or having conversations with people. Either they're feeling tense about having conversations with new people going out on dates or getting out there in the scene, or they are having tense conversations with past people. Um, and they don't have to be tense because, like, there is bad blood between you and this person. It could just be tense because you're really kind of, like, wondering, like, what the outcome is going to be with this person. Like, what the outcome is going to bring about. Let's uh, clarify this with another deck, okay? So tell me more about exactly what happened in this, about what happened in this person's uh, past situation. Okay. Okay, soulmates. Protection. Rejection is divine Protection. Okay, separation, give them some space, options, someone is keeping options, move on, this isn't going anywhere. So um, either this person is trying to keep options or their person that they were trying to be in a relationship with was trying to keep options. They went through a separation and moved on because they realized this situation wasn't going anywhere. This person felt very rejected, even though they felt like this person was a soulmate. They felt like they learned a lot from the situation, but they felt like in the end, rejection was divine protection in this situation. Okay. Uh, definitely with third party interference. So this person might have got cheated on by someone. Okay. Okay. And what's their intention about uh, toward the collective? Why are they truth? Truthful answers now. Why are they truthfully coming back or coming towards the collective? Okay, they have someone else. Okay, they could be coming back towards you because they're scared that you might be in a union with somebody else or um, they might feel like you have other options in this situation, okay? I'm hearing beating other options to the punch, okay? I don't like that energy as much. Movement, something is happening. And hesitation, someone is holding back. So they're holding back something. They're not going to come towards you and tell you the complete truth about what's happening here. Maybe they have deeper feelings from you for you than they're going to let on, or they know more about a particular situation or about you than they're going to let on. Um, what is this? They have someone else. Is this this person? It's the, for the collective. They think that you're with somebody else. They could be coming towards you because they think you're in a... Uh, they, could, they could be coming towards you with some hesitation because they could think that you're in a relationship with something else. They think something is happening here. Yeah, they think you're in some kind of long-term relationship. Um, or they could be hesitantly coming towards you because they know you're looking for a long-term relationship. Let the energy resonate for you as it does. Second chance. Someone wants a second chance. Okay, for some of y'all, this is definitely somebody that you had a past relationship with, Okay. Um, and this person is coming back towards you. Okay, look, I'm just going to be honest with this. If this is a person from the past, I am not getting very good vibes off this person. Not because I'm just like, F all people from the past. But if it, 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 every single time I talk about this being a past person, I don't get very good vibes off this person, okay? I get very much so like, oh, you're moving on. I got my heart hurt from whoever else I moved on from. So let me go back to you because the grass wasn't greener on the other side, okay? If this is a new person coming towards you, okay? Um, they were dealing with some heavy stuff with probably like a karmic situation here, okay? Um, that maybe perhaps that they are looking for a long-term relationship or looking for something serious. They're looking for a second chance in love, okay? This person is looking for a long-term situation here, but they're hesitant from coming towards you because they feel like you might be in a relationship with somebody else. I'm hearing someone say, surely... Surely they have somebody. Surely they have somebody. Surely they're in a relationship with somebody else. Okay. Lust. This person wants you. So they are very attracted to you. But there is a there is karmic energy here. No yes. No. Okay. So if this is like a past person situation. Um, There is this kind of like lusty energy. Lusty karmic energy around this past situation. And what about if it's like the new situation that we're talking about, Spirit? What if it's the new situation? Ghosted, someone wasn't ready and codependent. Whoa. Okay. 
what's going on here? Someone wasn't ready. Tell me more about this ghosted spirit. This new person. Copycat. Someone wants to be someone else. There's confusion around this person. Either this person is confused about exactly what's going on or someone is trying to confuse this person. Someone is hiding who they are. Somebody here ghosted you because there was a copycat energy around them that was very codependent. A third party. Yeah, a third party interference. There was a copycat energy here that made this person ghost, ghost you. Red flags. Pay attention to the warning signs. There are some red flags either around this person or around the people that this person like interacts with or has around them. Childish. Someone doesn't want to grow up. Yeah, somebody has like some childish people around them. The, I don't know. This could be in the past or this could be something this person is currently working through. Accountability. Take responsibility for your actions. So I feel like the new person is trying to take accountability or responsibility. Trying to take some kind of accountability for something that they did in the past or a choice that they made in the past. Okay, so I was thinking, I was asking Spirit, what was the like best advice? I was about, I was just about to say, okay, I'm about to pull for the best advice for the collective and focus on career came out. So focus on your career, focus on building yourself up right now. What else should the collective be doing? Okay, seeing the bigger picture, stepping back, getting a bigger picture, cheating. Someone is stepping outside of this connection. Oh my goodness, somebody's cheating. There's somebody here that's cheating on something. Reconciliation. Union is coming. Somebody wants to have reconciliation with you, but they are that they are cheating on a spouse or cheating on a um, person that they're already in a relationship with coming towards you. They you need to heal. Or, like I said, this could be a person that's still, that you might be having reconciliation with a person that got cheated on and they need to heal. That's for a smaller amount of you. Focus on family and ego. They can't let go of their pride. So somebody, somebody's family here has a lot of ego or has a lot of like prideful people in it. I feel like these are these people that are around this person. These kind of copycat energies. Who is this copycat energy that's around that's around this person? Childish. Somebody that's childish. Somebody that's jealous. Wow. Who is this copycat energy that's around this person? I'm hearing family. Somebody that's, yeah, somebody that's in their family or somebody they have a family with that's uh, childish and jealous. Meditate, think about this some more. A new lover, a new option is coming. Okay, I don't know what's going on here exactly. There is confusion energy here. And I don't know if this is you just feeling confused about what's going on or if there's just some general confusion energy around around this person, around this person. I don't know if it's something that they that they're really trying to figure out or they're really just trying to It feels like somebody somebody there is somebody creating confusion about exactly what's happening here. Somebody here is trying to keep people confused when they're looking into the situation. Lust. See the bigger picture. Protection. Rejection is protection. Separation. Okay. Give them some space. Options and move on. This isn't going anywhere. So I really feel like there's this big energy of kind of just like mm, keep yourself protected and uh, 
kind of above this situation, okay? Because there is somebody coming towards you. Marriage, they want commitment. They, I feel like they want some kind of commitment with you, but I feel like they're still dealing with some things from the past as well. It feels very heavy. It feels very heart chakra heavy. This person still needs to do a lot of healing. So be careful. Somebody isn't trying to come towards you and, and like you're in all this loveliness and abundance and make sure somebody's not trying to come back towards you as seeing you as like a, is like a come up off of their past person, or they're trying to use you as a rebound, or they're trying to use you as a jealous hookup or something like that. Right. Make sure there isn't somebody coming towards you trying to look like, Oh, you know, having somebody looking over their shoulder talking about, oh, look, look what upgrade I made, you know, when they're more focused on upgrading or showing you off as an upgrade to the ex as opposed to actually wanting to be with you. Or to, there's a big like rebound energy here. Feels heavy. It's really heavy in the throat and the heart chakra. We're getting a lot of energy of somebody being like, I can't tell you how I really feel. I can't tell you how I really feel. It's not right. Like it feels wrong, but I feel strong feelings for you, but it feels wrong. Because I have somebody else or I was in a relationship with somebody else or it just feels wrong to be in a relationship right now. I don't know. Y'all y'all read, read this person's energy. Y'all read who it is. Like I said, I know that I'm giving you guys a very uh, very wide range. But I mean, there's a wide, wide range of circumstances. It is a general reading. So there's a, a riot wide range why is that so hard to say of circumstances that could really be applying to this situation of who this person is coming back towards you right and exactly what their intentions are because i i see kind of all over the pet the place i mean underneath it this person's intentions are they really they're really more interested in you in like a romantic situation than they really want to show or they really want to uh to bring to the surface that could be what this person is sneaking around about is that they actually have a rather large crush on you or they rather they really want to be with you for some of you it's going to be an ex situation or it's going to be somebody from the past coming back toward you but it's going to be very obvious that they are leaving a past situation and they're coming back towards you because it was like a grass wasn't greener. With this new person, it feels a lot more like they're dealing with a lot of stuff in the background. They're dealing with a lot of healing issues and things like that from old past uh, relationships and old karmic relationships that they were dealing with. They're looking for a second chance in love, but there's still some issues here. There's still some heaviness here. There's still some emotional uh, unavailability here, right? So make sure that you're getting what you need out of the situation as well. Yeah, just take your time and really read this person's energy, whoever they are coming back towards you, right? And don't allow yourself to get confused about this about this situation because there is somebody that's trying to confuse the energy, especially around a new person. There's a new person trying to come towards you and there's a lot of confusion energy, like trying to take this person off track about coming towards you. And I don't know if that this person feels confused or is kind of like, should I, shouldn't I kind of energy, or if this is somebody, like I said, that copycat energy trying to confuse this person trying to come towards you, or if it's um, a past person. For some of you, there could be a past person who's energetically kind of trying to, it's like, keep people away from you or something like that kind of energy. So it's like a, like like a, an ex or somebody from your past that you might have dated or a friend that's a little too like it gets a little too aggressive with people who try to like hit on you or try to ask you to dance or something like that or they might you know say something to people who try to come around you or try to hit on you There is also like a jealous feminine energy here around you guys in some kind of way. There is, it feels like friendly, 
feels like like a like a close friend or family member or something like that a co-worker somebody that you spend a lot of time with somebody that you like go out with hang around go you know um you spend time if it is a co-worker it's somebody that you like hang out with like and go out with after work or do stuff like that too and you hang out maybe not all the time in that situation outside of the work but you've gone and got drinks with the with this person like af like afterwards there is somebody here that's like this jealous feminine energy that's really jealous that um you could go out if this is like a co-worker situation you could go out to a bar and you could get a guy that hits on you, okay? And this person could say something. This person could either make themselves really obnoxious and kind of kind of turn a guy off of being there with you, or they could say something like, Ew, no, we're only you know, no only no guys allowed. Get out of here. She doesn't want to dance with you and you're and you're sitting there like, actually that person's kind of cute. Like, I would dance with you. Like, no, wait, don't go. Like, don't let my bitch of a friend or my bitch of a coworker, you know, like if they, they might be inviting you out because they went through a breakup or they did something like that. And they're just like, no, guys, it's just us. We're going out. But then a really cute guy or really somebody or perhaps even like your significant other wants to come out with you or wants to meet you out somewhere, you know, and this person is like, no. Like, no, but it's like, but if a person, ca if a guy came up to them and wanted to buy a drink or wanted to dance with them, that's cool. But this person is coming up to you. So be mindful of the fact that you might have like a jealous feminine person who kind of drives a masculine energy away from you at a particular situation at a party or at like a, if you're out somewhere. Yeah, look, your friends are here to help. I'm not so sure about that. This person's going to be like, I'm just trying to help you out. But they're playing, exactly, but they're paying the third party interference in this situation, right? They're kind of acting like cop blocking because they're kind of like jealous that, you know. Or maybe they throw a fit because you show up with your partner or something like that. You show up with your boyfriend. It's like, it's like you didn't tell me that I couldn't bring my boyfriend, like. What's your issue? And you're like, you know that it's insensitive that you brought your boyfriend. You know that I just broke up with my boyfriend. Like, what, am I supposed to not have a boyfriend because you don't have one? Like, what the hell do you mean? For some of you, I am getting kind of like a closer vibe, like a friend or like a sisterly vibe off of that off of that person who might say that to you. And you're just like, the fuck? Like, or you might have a boyfriend and this person is single and they're always like, no boyfriends allowed. And you're like, look, it can't be only the girls every single time we go out. Like, some of us have boyfriends and we actually want to spend time out, you know, with our boyfriends while we're out with our friends as well. You know, it can't just be only us every single time we go out. Like, what the hell? Um, if you're a masculine here, it might be the opposite where a friend or something might be coming to you and being like, dude, it could be the opposite where it's like, did your girl have to come out with this every single time? Doesn't she trust you enough to give you like a, like a man's night out or give you a night out with the boys? Like, the, do, you know, do they have to call you a thousand single times? You know, do you have to constantly sit there and text them the whole time you're out? You know? kind of situation here it's kind of a, like a possess possessive energy somebody feels like they own you or they're like possessive over you like very possessive over you and not in a cute way betrayal they are working against you exactly what did i say right whoever that person is they're working against you and i'm telling you your friends are here to help i don't think so they're trying to play it off like i'm your friend i'm just here to help you or oh no that guy's an asshole like you might um you know, you might be like talking to a guy or talking to, and you might have a friend come up to you and be like, oh no, I heard this guy does this or does that, or, you know, treats their woman like this or like that. And you're like, oh my God, are you serious? You're like, yeah, totally. And then a couple of days later or later on that very night, you see your friend trying to hit on that person and be with them. And you're like, oh, they were a piece of shit when I was trying to hit, when they were hitting on me or when I was trying to be with them, but they're good enough for you. Kind of energy, like what? You could see somebody that you thought was a friend of yours out with an ex of yours. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> you're dating my ex? Like, ooh. you were the main, you were one of the main people who were like, really like about me, like dumping this person. Oh, I see why. Kind of energy. Some of y'all might be dealing with some shit like that marriage they want commitment this could have been somebody you were married with be careful y'all be careful 
Or this could be a situation that somebody is coming towards you. They could have been dealing with this in the past. You reach out. Yeah, like I said, cheating, right? That cheating card. Definitely somebody could have gotten betrayed when they were in a marriage. And they could be very hesitant. Mask. Someone is hiding who they are. Someone is hiding. Uh, is very hesitant to say who they really, how they really feel about something because they're really healing and dealing from something that happened. That um, dealing with something that emotionally like really messed them up in the past. Somebody they really cared about. Somebody they were married with or they were in a long term relationship with like really broke their heart and betrayed them. Even maybe with one of their really good friends. You know, but if you see, you know, just make sure that you're getting what you need out of a situation just because, you know, there is there's a point of being understanding about somebody's past and then seeing that somebody is not healing from their past and they're taking that and they're using that as an excuse to be possessive or using that as an excuse to, you know, like, well, you know, I'm jealous because I had an ex that cheated on me. And so that's why I'm jealous. or that's why I always check up on you or that's why I picked up. And it's like, well, you're going to have to deal with these issues like you need to deal with these issues. Like, I'm not going to deal with it. Right. Like, it's like I'm not to pay the price for your ex cheating on you all the time like at some point you have to be emotionally available or at some point you have to be opening up to something you know to something real you say you want something real but then you're acting very emotionally unavailable right so whatever the situation is make sure that you are getting your emotional satisfaction out of it because that's where you are right you're at that ten of cups ten of pentacles really successful single loving it doing a really good you know doing really good and with your energy and with your time with your boundaries okay so just make sure that you don't just throw all that out the window really quickly to just be in a relationship with somebody really get to know this person and if this person has some healing they still need to do don't be afraid to let them know right hey look you're acting like this and like that like i'm sorry that you got hurt in the past but that's not an excuse to continue this behavior or that's not an excuse to have this behavior you know this person might have picked up some more like toxic red flags and tendencies from their past people right from dealing with that person especially if they were married or they were in a long-term relationship with that person right it is not your job to heal somebody it is not your job to teach somebody how to be a healed version of themselves it is their responsibility to take accountability for their actions and their choices right so make sure that you are holding this person accountable for their actions and their for their choices and let them know right hey it's not okay that you act that way or hey you know what why don't we take a break why don't we why don't because you seem like you still need to heal so if that's the situation right to each his own right to each his own you know your limits you know your boundaries you know what you're willing to deal with and what you're is like no this is an issue right but don't be scared right just because that you really like somebody or you really see a potential with this person right don't let potential get you all switched up and confused and messed up with the reality of who somebody really is you can see potential in somebody but if they don't see that potential in themselves and they're not working towards that potential what good does them having that potential do to you all it does is to serve to keep you trapped in a sense of maybe one day this person will be what i actually need from them don't allow yourself to be in that situation right And that applies for new or past people, right? Can people change? Absolutely. It's just if they're actually willing to put in the work and change and do what they need to do, right? All right, lovelies. Well, you feel like you are in uh, a good place, but you do feel like there is some confusion about whether or not you can trust a certain person or whether or not exactly who a person is and why they're coming into your life or, you know, there is this kind of confusion energy, there that kind of needs to be a little bit more kind of like you know what uh i'm not saying avoid it but i am saying you know what let spirit let spirit work it out because i can't i did keep saying that let go and let spirit work right um let spirit work it out and if you see red flags don't be scared to go i see your red flags and walk away right or no there's some situations here that i that i'm not supposed to deal with so you know bye don't be scared to have those strong boundaries and know what you're willing to deal with and know what you're just like, no, like I'm not, you know, yes, I can deal with this or no, I'm not going to deal with this, right? But always keep in mind, it is not your job to stick with somebody while they heal. It is not your job to teach somebody how to be a grown man or how to be a grown woman or how to get over and how to heal themselves. That's not your responsibility. It's theirs, right? You can be that person that's a catalyst. You can be that person that's like, hey, I feel like you, you have some unhealed things that you need, you really need to focus on. But if this person is like, no, or if this person is like, 
uh, you know, will just, you know, depends on how they react to the situation, right? So go from there. But that would be my advice. Of course, you don't have to take it, you know. It's each individual, to each individual own. To keep in mind, this is always a general reading. And also, you know, I'm, I keep saying you, 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 but that's from a particular perspective. You could be this past person. You could be this person coming in towards somebody and you're confused exactly as to, you know, when or where, you know, the situation is happening. Let the energy resonate as it does. Let, you know, place yourself where the energy, where you belong, right? And, and as always, don't get confused um, with any kind of pronouns or you know, gender assignment that I do here in the reading, okay? It's just about energy. It's not about actual gender, physical gender of a person. It's just about the energy that they're showing up under, right? So always keep that in mind. Thank you so very much. I hope this brought the love, light, and clarity that you were looking for. I hope that you had a wonderful holiday season with your friends and with your family. Happy New Year. I hope it's uh, going great so far, and I hope that continues, all right? Thank you so much to everyone who uh, subscribes, who comments down below. Let me know, okay, if this resonated for you. Um, if you really liked it, give it a like or share it with somebody you feel like this uh, could really help. If you are not subscribed to the channel, subscribe and stick around, you know. If you are already subscribed to the channel, thank you so very much for being here for another reading. I really appreciate you lovelies. Thank you so much again, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.